Hi. <laughs>
and that's a result of lots of things like lifestyle changes. Um, I take medication. I do lots of self care. I exercise. I don't drink. You know, and all these things combined with with things like mindfulness, practicing gratitude. Um, you know, I've been to some really dark places. I've I've been hospitalised you know, several times over the years. Mental health diagnosis doesn't have to be a life sentence. It doesn't have to define you. You can, you can actually, you know, you can recover, you can manage it, and you can live a really happy and successful life. So that's really what I want to share with people and hopefully inspire other people and just give people hope, you know, that's, that's the most vital thing. And, and also I'm really passionate about normalizing it so reducing the stigma and making it less frightening to speak out and reach out for help you know i don't think people should be ashamed or fearful or embarrassed you know i think um, that really does need to change so i'm very passionate about that So it's, it's no exaggeration to say that my art has like saved my life. Like if I didn't have it, I don't know how I would have coped over the years with um, my bipolar disorder. It's not something I haven't, when I'm in a depression, I, I haven't been able to paint um, because just making a cup of tea is almost impossible. So a photorealist painting is insurmountable. But I do um, think that it's aided my recovery. Uh, it's kind of helped me rebuild my life after an episode. It gives me purpose and focus again and brings me a lot of joy, you know, and, and my work really does come from a, a joyful place. And I think that's why the work is so positive and uplifting. And um, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, when I'm in a dark place, I, I can't work, but when, when I'm in a good place, when I'm well and healthy and stable, um, the art really thrives. Well, my art hero is Gerhard Richter, who I discovered at university. Um, he really gave me the huge inspiration to get into photorealism. And other artists such as Chuck Close, his portraits, had a massive impact on me and led me to my final degree show which was all portraiture but yeah I'm really influenced by my peers and other artists similar age to me you know practicing full-time so people like Kate Brinkworth, Joe Simpson, Roxana Halls, the lovely Pete McKee who I went to his exhibition recently in London yeah they they kind of like because you're all in the same kind of boat, it's it's nice to have that camaraderie um, with other artists. Well, I hope it demonstrates the diversity of my subject matter. Um, yeah, I know I'm really well known now for sweets, but I do paint a lot of toys, you know, toys that I had as a kid and um you know they are they feature in my work and have done for a long time it all started with toy plastic fish <laughs> and then it moved on to pokemon and then it, it moved on to sweets around 2006 so you know I'm, I'm hoping that in viewing this show people will see my repertoire <laughs> is very broad but and i think the other thing that you can see is the development of my use of color you know, in recent years, that's really become the forefront of my work, you know, unashamed colour. And also the new paintings I've done, such as the one behind me, Neon Lollies. So these were painted especially for the exhibition and they're based on stencil work that I did, or I've been doing for years and years, mainly inspired by, you know, Banksy and other street art. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great to be able to show something a bit different. So I've got a lot of commissions 
coming up over the next year um, and I'm going to be working towards another exhibition which is going to be next spring. Um, alongside my painting I, I work in schools, I, I visit schools and do workshops, I do lots of Zoom talks, um, I also work with the National Society for Education in Art and Design um, I've become an advocate for them because I'm very passionate about the fact that art has been marginalised in schools over the last 10 years. And so they want me to use my voice to speak out about that and hopefully, you know, help change things there. And, um, and then I'm also a mental health advocate. You know, I speak out on social media, I give talks. I recently gave a talk to the British Library. Um, and I'm also a patron of the mental health charity uh, Poets In, and so I'm going to be doing a lot more work with them. So yeah, lots going on, super, super busy, but oh yeah, the other thing is I'm putting a book out of my work, hopefully this year, so 21 years of painting. Um, yeah, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time, so I thought this was, this was the year to do it. Um, so yeah, lots going on and it's all good. Happy days. <laughs>